Restaurants and hotels that fail health inspections will now have to pay some extra fees. The International Inn is back in the hot seat for several critical health violations. And later this month, the Easter Bunny is coming to Hyannis. We have all the details. These stories and more on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Thursday, March 12, 2015. I'm Sarah Mano. The town's health division is proposing new fees to help defer the cost of any additional inspections due to failed inspections. Health Division Director Tom McKean says it is costly to perform repeat inspections. Please. Uh, this, this request came after several hearings were held last year where restaurants and uh, motel, a motel was required to have monthly inspections due to failed inspections and it put more burden on our staff as, as well as other departments and we ask that you adopt the fee of $500 for the first three monthly inspections. If the board orders more than three months of inspections, it'll be $100 for each additional inspection. The fee is due within seven days of the hearing date. If they don't pay the fee, I, I would suggest that we bring them back to the board at the very next meeting to discuss why they, they haven't paid the fee. Okay. The second fee that we're re requesting is $100 uh, for if there's one failed inspection and if it's determined by the health agent, that's, that's myself, that another inspection should, should occur between one and three months after that inspection. And the benefit to that inspection is, uh, is uh, a benefit for both the public and the restaurant. <coughs> Uh, this, I'm not talking about the reinspection that will recur, recur within 24 hours. I'm talking about <clears throat> another routine unannounced inspection, which would be graded, would be scored. They would, they would obtain a grade, and we would average the three grades uh, before putting it on the uh, town website. Okay. So it would benefit both the restaurant and the town, in my opinion, Bo both fees. The Board of Health voted unanimously to approve the new fees. The International Inn was back before the Board of Health during its meeting this week. The restaurant had several critical violations during an inspection both this year and last year. Health Inspector Mary Beth McKenzie detailed the critical violations for the Board. Okay, so the following recurrent critical violations were noted during consecutive inspections. Uh, Federal Food Code 6-301-11 Hand Washing Cleaner. Uh, that 6 301 uh, hand drying provisions, 5 205.11 accessibility operation and maintenance. Uh, during both inspections, sinks were not stocked correctly in the kitchen and or, and or bathrooms with soap, paper towels, and or corrective water temperature. Uh, hot water was not available at the kitchen sink on 8 26 14 and on uh, 2 12 15, hot water was not available in the employee's bathroom. On 2-12-15, one of the employees' bathrooms was not clean. Um, I, I also have photos, if you want to see them. Down. Okay, yeah. and they're on both sides. Okay. And they're all listed. Thank you. Uh, Federal Food Code 4-601.11A, clean utensils and food contact surfaces of equipment. Uh, shelving that was used to store the clean dishware was covered with food debris during both inspections. And on 8-26-15, personal clothing and used plastic gloves were stored on top of the clean dishes. On 2-12-15, the clean um, in-place mixer had not been used in two days, because uh, I asked, uh, and it was covered in dried food debris. Federal Food Code 4-501.114, chemical sanitizing, temperature, pH, concentration, and hardness. Town Ordinance um, Subsection 322-25 Logbook. A sanitizer logbook must be maintained. On um, pH and sanitizer rinse results of each testing must be recorded. The log must be made easily available at all times to health inspector. On 2-12-15, the log was not uh, being kept and the dishwasher was not registering any sanitizer. And on 8-26-15, the sanitizer log had not been kept. The machine was sanitizing correctly. 
Federal Food Code uh, 3-501.16b, cold pea, um, potentially hazardous foods, must be maintained at or below 41 degrees. Violation of the code were noted during both inspections. On 8-26-14, uh, one of the walk-in refrigerator units was at 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and the internal temperature of the food product was at 62. On 2-12-15, cream cheese and yogurt uh, were not refrigerated and were left out at room temperature on the buffet line. Uh, also, the following critical violation was observed on February 12th. Uh, federal Food Code 2-103.11, Persons in Charge Duties, and 105 CMR 590.003, Section A, a certified food manager was not on site. Also, it was determined by the health inspector that the person left in charge was not knowledgeable about the Federal Food Code, nor the State Sanitary Code 105 CMR 590. The International Inn will not be forced to close for those violations just yet. The board ordered the restaurant to have three unannounced random inspections over the next 60 days. If the establishment fails any of the three inspections, they would immediately be forced to go back before the Board of Health. The Easter Bunny is coming to Hyannis. To get details, I sat down with Program Coordinator Melanie Mimmo. We share that interview with you now. Good morning, everyone. You're watching Barnesville this morning. This morning, I am joined by Program Coordinator Melanie Mimo. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thanks for having me. I can't believe it. It's almost spring. We're really excited. Uh, the Easter Bunny is actually coming to town. Where can we see the Easter Bunny, Melanie? The Easter Bunny and his sidekick, Chick, will be coming to Barnstable Intermediate School um, on March 28th from 11 to 1. Wonderful. Such a fun event. Uh, Hopefully, all the snow will be gone by then. We're crossing our fingers. Yes, because we <laughs> do have an Easter egg hunt outside, so yeah, <laughs> no so snow. <laughs> crossing our fingers. Uh, but there are also some events that take place inside the yes. gym. Is that correct? Yep, in the cafeteria, actually. So um, there'll be lots of games, activities, arts and crafts, face paint, um, food. <laughs> and like we said, the Easter bunny and the chick and a balloon artist. Too. Ooh, fun. So, yeah. Now I know it is free to attend, but folks may want to come and bring a couple bucks here, here or there, uh, because there are things that you can purchase at the event. Talk to me about uh, some of those. Um, some of the games we have um, are like a dollar or um, a ticket so they can come purchase tickets, play some games. Um, some of like our novelty, fun Easter Themed items are a dollar, and um, our concession stand um, is also about a buck, a buck a, a food item. So nice. So uh, definitely affordable for the whole family, a fun, and the big question: Can I get my photo taken with the Easter Bunny? Absolutely. Bring your smartphone um, or your camera, and um, we'll have the Easter Bunny and the chick all set up with a um, big backdrop and you can come take the pictures of the kids. Really cool opportunity, I think, for families to get out and have some fun for this holiday without all the commercialism involved. Right, yep, absolutely. You know, really cool. Uh, anything else you want to highlight about the event? Um, our balloon artist is amazing. He does um, the Centerville Christmas Stroll every year, so that's um, he's kind of been in the town event, so he's amazing. He does the best creatures and animals and all that, so it'll be great. Oh, so fun. So what age group would you say uh, this event is targeted towards? Um, we generally target towards uh, grades three and under, um, but obviously older children are welcome. Nice. And do, do a lot of kids get fancied up and wear the, their Easter hats and their, and their dresses, or do they stay um, casual? This is more of a casual, but they do bring their baskets, those fancy baskets. But, um, yeah, they generally, it's pretty casual, laid back. Um, you know, they can come. Hopefully it's nice out. They yeah. can definitely hunt for some eggs outside, but it's a sneakers kind of casual day. Awesome. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for telling us all about it. I really appreciate it and I can't wait. And hopefully we'll cross our fingers for you that there's no snow, thank there, you. No snow on the ground. <laughs>